Hey guys, it's Wes, Not Your Normal Miner here. Today we got an interesting one for you. Um, here recently we just saw over on 2miners.com, we learned about proxy mining pools um, showing up that they are detected over on their mining um, over on their mining dashboard. Um, so that's something that we're going to talk with you about here today. But real quick before we get started, um, average hash rate on this address, 234 mega hash per second, 22 blocks found um, in the last 30 days. Um, 463 mega hash per second, one block found within the last 30 days. So today we're going to be talking with you about proxy mining pools, what we know, what we hope to find out. Please comment down below. Let us know what you guys know about these proxy mining pools. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel focusing on pool testing, overclock setting testing, minor program testing, as well as we did build our remote garden location specifically meant to show you everything that we've done as far as heat removal and electric updates as you scale up. And when we talk about scaling up, that's with multiple GPU and ASIC mining rigs. We were over checking out um, Ethereum dot two miners dot com checking out their solo ethereum um, the other day doing some pool testing and such um, and as we were checking out the blocks found we came across an address um, normally you know addresses are just blah 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 blocks found nothing special um, but this one kind of jumped out at me um, if you look at their average mega hash per second um, especially over the last 24 hours we're showing right now currently 250 mega hash per second um, but that they found four blocks within the last 24 hours, 22 blocks within the last 30 days. But they've got 250 mega hash per second. Look at it. They've got a total paid of 96 Ethereum, guys. Um, now, what, what really blew my mind was in the upper right-hand corner, it said proxy detected. This is something I had seen a little while ago, but didn't really know much about or didn't really understand. Click on it. This account is using a special proxy server that filters out low difficulty shares only submitting shares that solve the block. Please guys comment down below. Tell me what you know about proxy mining servers because um, this is showing up as 250 mega hash per second and they solo mined four Ethereum blocks within the last 24 hours, 22 within the last 30 days. So we're gonna head over to twocryptocalculator.com because I wanna do this math off of 550 mega hash. You'll see it here in a second why. But if we do that, we're gonna see one block every one month and two weeks, okay? Well, I did come over here and I found a web, uh, uh, an address that had about 460 mega hash per second. So still under that, and they did find about one block within the last 30 days. So this is nothing major here. Um, but, but let's check this next address out. 23 blocks within the last 30 days, but that's 18 plus giga hash per second, okay? 18 plus giga hash per second. And they still haven't even found four blocks within the last 24 hours. So let's go back here. The proxy one that's on the proxy mining pool, four blocks within 24 hours. 22 blocks within 30 days. That is just ridiculous, guys. So please comment down below. Tell me what you know about these proxy mining servers. Because to me, it's looking like 18 giga hash finds 23 um, blocks within 30 days. Um, I do want to give a big shout out. Thank you to uh, Batman over in Discord for for pointing some stuff off me and letting me kind of point some stuff off you um, as well. We had some Discord member recently um, talk about proxies. They brought it up. So I want to show you a little bit about what, what they discussed um, with me. So a proxy allows your miners to solve blocks, work sent by a pool on your miner locally or a machine running the proxy at very low latency. Okay, and that's the key, low latency, super fast. And when solved, super speed sends that via back proxy to the pool your miner never physically sees the external pool it only sees the proxy the proxy has constant connection to the pool it's never interrupted all your miners log in now this is key all your miners log in via the proxy is one massive miner to the pool so it looks like rented hash but it isn't now send, send me an example here um showing that the share was accepted at one megasecond or uh yeah, ping, 1ms, guys, 1ms, what's going on here? You know, so he's saying very low latency, and he's shown me an example. Well, let's get back over here to that address that we were showing you. As far as the one that's on the proxy detected, 22 blocks, 4 within the last 24 hour. To me, it seems like with what he was just saying is that someone is hiding a bunch of mega hash 
bunch of giggity, giggity, giggity hash here. Uh, but it could also be that, that they just aren't dealing with blocks that aren't found and they're only submitting current shares. So, in theory, if you're only throwing blocks that are solved, I don't know how they're doing it, but, but that could be it. So that's our theories right now, or at least my theories. We've got either someone that does have very low mega hash per second is running a proxy mining pool, and somehow that is filtering out all the, the, the jib jab, and they're just solving blocks, which is what it's saying here. Or it could also be someone that's got about 18 giga hash per second filtering it into their proxy so it only looks like one miner. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Am I crazy? Um, is this theory kind of making some sense to you guys? Once again, thanks Batman over in Discord for letting me um, kind of ping some things off of you and for sharing this link to me. Proxy detected. How the hash rate is determined. And this is by John Smith 21 hours ago. So this is recent and this is over on twominers.com, um, their help desk. The pool determines your hash rate based on the amount of shares sent by your mining rigs or workers. This value could be different from reported hash rate. Yep, that's nothing new. We have noticed that some miners use a special proxy server that filters out low difficulty shares, only submitting shares that solve the block. Say what? This will show up as a miner with low hash rate finding many blocks. We don't know exactly why do the miners use the proxy servers. Maybe they just want to reduce their internet traffic. So what he's saying here is um, that the proxy um, servers that they're seeing is, is maybe filtering a bunch of miners down so it doesn't look like one. So we'll let you guys take a look. Here we see the proxy server only showing up as 246 mega hash per second, but crushing blocks the same as 18 giga hash per second. You guys uh, take it as you leave it. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. As I was doing some research as well, there's not a lot on proxy servers. Well, um, over here on stratumprotocol.org, I found out some interesting things. Um, over here, it talks about proxy a little bit. An, internet media, uh, an intermediary between mining devices and pool services that aggregates connections for efficiency and may optimally provide additional functionality, such as monitoring the health and performance of devices. goes on here to talk more, lots of different things, lots of different things, but I want to get some key points here. Um, this may not be exactly talking about it, but, but let's just kind of see where we're at. Job dis distribution latency. Pools can send jobs to workers ahead of time for future blocks, even before the prior block has been found. You say what? Then the pools can send the latest prehash to the miners in much smaller, faster message, indicating that they should start working on the next block immediately. So in theory, what I'm seeing here is if I've got my um, proxy server, um, I'm able to be able to see future blocks and solve only good blocks without getting the jib jabbers, okay? Comment down below, guys. Tell me what you think. Are we, are we on to something here? Is this new? Is this old old information? What's going on? Um, but yeah, so here you go. In Stratum V2, it's equally as efficient for pools to send full blocks to miners to begin working on it as if for them to send empty blocks, blocks that don't contain any transactions. Since there's no extra delay caused by sending a full block, the incentive to send an empty block is eliminated. So guys, there's all sorts of fun stuff here that we're talking with you about, um, but very similar to the job latency section, the elimination of incentive for empty block mining comes down to the separation of the prefast meshes from the block header, okay? So we go on farther and farther, and there's just some different things that are showing us that there could actually be these different proxy mining pools that are eliminating the jibber jabber and only allowing for, for mine blocks to be sent. In the description down below, we're going to have links to all this stuff. But once again, today we're talking with you about proxy mining servers. Well, we're seeing a proxy here, Detective, over on twominers.com, showing that they're finding blocks, but they're finding blocks the same as 18 giga hash with only 250. Comment down below. Tell me what you think, guys. Once again, we're talking with you about the, the, the proxy servers and what we're seeing and what we're finding here on this. Um, once, we have, once we have these proxy mining servers figured out, we'll talk with you a little bit more about those. But comment down below. Tell me what you think. Look, this is what 18 giga hash looks like finding that many blocks. It's definitely something to do some more research on. Um, comment down below. Tell us what you think. In the description down below, we're going to have some other things. You'll be able to follow us over on Twitter. You can catch our latest and greatest. You can also find a link over to the Discord down there. And that's where we've been talking a lot about this. But once again, today we've been talking with you about proxy mining pools. What are they? They are detected on the network. Thank you.